What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to talk about one reason why LEGO investing is a bad choice. So as you know, I am a pro LEGO investor. I invest thousands and thousands of dollars each year to make money LEGO investing. But ultimately, it can end up being very bad. In a lot of my videos, I often refer to LEGO investing as gambling. And why is that? Because you never know where the market is going to go. You could end up spending thousands of dollars each year in end up losing thousands of dollars. You never know what's going to happen. There's so many different events that could happen that could affect your investment. And typically all YouTubers are just promoting Lego investing, myself included. So ever so often I'm going to try and make videos to kind of give the opposite side. Despite whether I believe it or not, I do want to make people aware that Lego investing is risky and you can lose a ton of money. So first off, I would love if you comment your thoughts and opinions on maybe the risks involved with LEGO investing and maybe if you've gotten burned on some situations or sets, I would love to hear it. The community would love to hear it. And I appreciate everyone that comments and likes the video. It definitely helps the algorithm. So with LEGO investing, you typically buy a set before it officially retires. And then the next year, typically year two to three you start selling your sets for profit but the thing with that is lego does not care about the th secondary market the lego investors because they want that money that we are getting so what does that mean they often recreate sets reproduce them over and over again to help steal money away from us and not that it's stealing money it's just they see a market available to them they see the secondary market where these retired sets are doing absolutely amazing they want to get some of that now my personal opinion is that the more they hit the secondary market and really affect investors because they they do not like investors i think it hurts them in the long run because we keep the secondary market alive we, we it's almost like promoting lego and it just we, every lego feeds off that energy and it just helps everyone overall so the more they hit, hit investors it really hurts them in the long run so let's say they remake a set over and over again it really affects the market value of that set so for example the tie fighter we've had an absolute ton of tie fighters recreated some of them have done well, some of them have done bad, but I do want to show a, or say a disclosure. The really old sets, we can't really go by that because really anything back in the day has just done phenomenal. I'm kind of referring to new sets and giving, giving you an example that going forward, we're going to get a lot of remakes of sets and it's really unknown what sets they will remake. But it's just the fact that they will remake it in the future. So if you had a $50 TIE Fighter, it might go up, you know, let's say to $70 two to three years down the line. But then if they release a new one for $50, it's going to really hurt your TIE Fighter. Unless the TIE Fighter previously had something unique about it. So as a LEGO investor, you need to be aware that LEGO will reproduce sets over and over again, despite thousands of people investing in a previous set and ultimately them annihilating them. I hear the stories over and over again and I have bought a few sets that have been remade and they've really hurt the secondary price or the price in general that I'm selling and I might have to take a loss and I hear it all the time and it's really not discussed a whole lot on YouTube so that's why I'm making this video. But let's check out another Star Wars set. So the Millennium Falcon. A lot of people probably bought a lot of these sets thinking that Lego wasn't going to reproduce them. But we've got a set, you know, in 2017. Then they came out one with 20, 2019. Then a smaller one in 2018. 2015. They will just keep remaking it over and over again. I'm sure a ton of people bought this 2015 version. It retailed for 150 and it's got a value of 166 and why is that value so low? Well, it's probably because they remade one not that long after. And I'm sure a ton of people will buy this 2019 version and they'll remake one again in two to three years. This is a bread and butter set. They, you have to be aware of like the extremely popular sets will get remade. I often say I will not buy Disney castles because that's Disney's bread and butter. That's all they have. They're going to recreate castles until the end of time. 
So let's check out the fighter tank. So we've gotten a few fighter tanks. It, it's great that they haven't been mass produced, but overall, a lot of people went very hard, myself included, in this Republic fighter tank. I was buying full pallet, like the whole display case, at one time, and a ton of people were doing the same. I guarantee they'll make a Republic fighter tank in the future. And that's the gamble that you take investing. So let's say if they let's say they don't create another Republic fighter tank in maybe four years, that would be great. But if they re, if they recreate one in say a year or two, that will really really hurt and affect the price of this tank right now. And like I said before, you never know what Lego is their logic and reason behind it. I think they they're like the Pokemon company where they analyze what sets are or what cards are doing absolutely amazing and the market's extremely strong for that card and then they decide to re-release that card over or re-release that set and sometimes they do it in a fashion where it's just a little bit where the market will absorb that it will only go down a little but that's ultimately how they decide to earn more money and it sucks but that's just the risk a lot of people have to take when lego investing so one example of a set that I got burned on, and a lot of people got burned on, is some Harry Potter sets. So I bought the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express in 2018, or I think it was 2020, let's see when it re re retired. It retired at the end of 2022. So if you remember, this was available at Walmart for $40, an absolutely insane price. For a train, trains do really, really well in when investing. So I bought a bunch of these, a ton of people bought a bunch of these, and sadly, it ended up being a very terrible investment. And why is that? Well, it's simply for the fact that they came out with another train the year after. And the logic is just really, really bad. And it's it's unknown why. I, I just, I don't get it. But in 2023, they came out with the Hogwarts Express and Hogs, Hogsmeade Station, and it retails for $129. They're really similar. But ultimately, I think Lego hurt themselves by doing this. But Lego can afford to take those hits. They'll take that risk. And the logic, I, if anyone knows why they re-release a set the year after, is it something with licensing or what? It just seems like they hurt themselves, but it also hurts the secondary market. So I bought the previous Hog Hogwarts Express for $40 at Walmart on Black Friday. I bought a bunch of them. And sadly, that set has just been absolutely terrible. I, I really have not been able to give this set away. I think I've had it listed for $45, and I have been getting no nibbles on them at all. Now, yes, the market is getting worse, but really, it's a phenomenal set for $45, and I, I literally cannot sell it. So let's take a look at how it's doing on eBay right now. So if we look here, it's selling for $80 plus free shipping, so... When it's all said and done after fees, you're probably walking away with what, like 60 to 65 around that range. Here, less than 60, $80 again, 61 here with free shipping, 59. So really, Lego re-releasing this set hurt you if you bought this set. And believe me, this set was the first to go on Black Friday. I, I really, it's sad, and these are the risks involved when you're investing. Because Lego got greedy, and maybe, again, I don't know the reason why, but they them releasing a set immediately after just annihilated this price. And, it, and it's sad. If you look, it's selling for less than retail. The retail price is $79.99. So I've got hundreds of dollars just sitting there, and sadly, just really can't move it. With time, I'm sure this will maybe go up in price to maybe 60 maybe max 70 but I doubt we're going to get above retail because I bet they're going to make another tank and probably, or another, not another tank, another uh, Hogwarts Express in another year or two. Why? Because that's a bread and butter set of Harry Potter. They're going to remake that over and over again because people love that scene and they love the train. So as a new investor, you need to be aware that you could end up losing a ton of money and there's no guarantees in life with anything you don't know what set they're going to re-release the following year and sadly a lot of people i myself included are probably we might get burned on the helmet line 
It's always risky when you're buying a set that is new and first out the gate because it's just a matter of time before that set gets re-released again. And I've got probably, what, like twenty over $24,000 worth of helmets. If they re-release one of those helmets, so let, let's say the Dark Trooper helmet, I've got over a hundred of those. So we'll say just seven grand as, a, as an example. If they re-released a new Dark Trooper helmet, and let's say it was a, a little bit better, that would just destroy my profits. I would, have to, I would have to sell that for a loss. And that's why Lego investing it is ultimately a bad investment. And that's why I only encourage it if you can do it, if, if you can afford to take the hit if those situations happen. So I appreciate you watching this video. And yeah, I'm going to make probably more, I'm going to at least try and make one of these type of videos of why Lego investing is bad, just because YouTubers are not doing it. And I just want, I just want everyone to be aware of the risks involved and what could happen. You could end up lo losing thousands. Sadly, I have lost probably over at least a thousand dollars by now and sadly it's just it comes with the territory and i think as time goes on it's going to force a lot of people out of this market so i appreciate you watching please comment down below but as always please do your own research have some fun make some money video is not financial advice any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice do your own research before making any financial investments.